Okay, on this segment, I'm uh, talking about an incident that happened when my brother James came over. It's been some time now uh, since the last time he's made his presence. I know that he's doing well. Um, otherwise, I would hear differently. But he, um, there was an incident um, where he had arrived here at the door prior to that I had a very strange feeling about 15 to 20 minutes prior that um, almost not even to answer the door um, how, how do I explain what I'm saying it was just kind of a, a feeling um, um, of an entity um, of, of okay I'll say the word evil um, amongst it and 15 20 minutes later there was a knock at the door, a heavy knock at the door. Um, it quieted down and then uh, came back again. Uh, and then we could hear, we, uh, me and D-Law had heard a faint um, voice of James calling out. Um, so I answered the door without um, allowing him entry. Not not for him um, not able to come in but again I am I've had a strange feeling 20 to 15 minutes later like I explained and I began to explain to him that I wasn't having him come into the apartment um, not because of him but based on the entity that I was feeling so he began to explain to me that he was okay with that he understood and um, um, I'm in thought right now remembering what happened so bear with me but then um, he said the main reason he had come over was he needed to use a phone um, he had been to the uh, welfare uh, DSHS department and there was some falsification names on his paperwork and um, <clears throat> he needed to call the number on there if he could use the phone so I went into the apartment and got him the cordless phone so he could use and he made the call um, not very relevant but I'll just explain that he uh, didn't get much help at first until he kinda demanded help and and asked that uh, the message that he was given the person on the phone be recorded for later and then um, uh, we began I began to talk to him about how proud I was in his uh, recovery he um, he had put drugs down on his father's death as well I did alcohol consummated um, on uh, our father's death on November 16th uh, 2013 um, then I began to explain how proud I was of him and how good he looked and um, shortly after, there became some very bad yelling in the street. Um, not far from the apartment door we were standing at. And it was a drug-related yelling. Um, one female calling another female a crackhead or something in relation to. Um, but it was definitely an argument uh, type of uh, uh, one person trying to get, maybe try to get rid of the other person. Um, off the property here at that time me and James both made uh, contact to look, trying to look to see if we could even see anybody and I I began to whisper to him to please go directly to the bus and go without turning that direction which would have been right out of the com out of the door here and I asked him to go directly to the bus without stopping without talking to anyone and again this has been some time I, I want to say it's been at least a month if not longer um, but again um, he was he was definitely showing signs of being as shocked as I was that that was occurring and it it was consummated with my feeling 20 minutes prior weirdly enough saying it was consummated 20 minutes prior with my feeling that something strange was going on or about to happen 
so I just wanted to make note of that what the significance is I'm not sure but I do know as my brother has not returned here some entities and pressures within my life had started to slow down as well but um, and being very blunt I feel like um, if James doesn't knoweth uh, the company that is around him then he's being followed here um, and or um, something's going on but that area over there uh, gave me strange feelings I had visited out there to the Walmart store with some family members and friends and it had been six to eight years since the last time I had been over in that uh, area I call ground zero ground zero of methamphetamine and um, there was very strange entities um, transpiring not just witnessed by myself but by others who I won't have give their testimony without their willingness but uh, uh, let's just say that uh, it was felt amongst others who was with me and we were even uh, briefly followed home in another uh, by another vehicle um, but uh, this is just documentation so I don't forget any of this and or um, uh, some things that um, in these 43 years I've noticed if uh, if I carry it within it might come out for reasons later unbeknownst at this time so um, okay so I just wanted to share that and again I have not spoke directly to James himself since that incident and I know that the the reason I haven't seen him since was because he also feared whatever was following and he did not want to bring that upon me or the company um, so again uh, we'll see what's next